This is quite unusual. It's uh, uh, another purchase from Banggood in China, and it's a 12 watt LED street light, and that is quite bright. Uh, it's a warm white uh, LED street light, and I'm just going to unplug this now because uh, it's far too bright to point at the camera. And it does put out a very wide spread of light, owing to the fact they've not got lenses on them. It's just um, an array of 12 1 watt LEDs, so it's got a good spread of light, but it's actually surprisingly bright. Uh, when you point it across the room, it lights the other wall quite brightly. So let's um, open it up. Now this is a universal voltage sort of, um, I think it's 110, 240. It just says 220 volt in this one. Um, I'm not sure if it's a universal supply or not. I guess it probably is inside, but then again it does say just 220. Well, let's open it up. So... Sure, if I have to take these. Oh no, they just slide off sideways. These clamps. I have to say it's quite an attractive light. Much smaller than I was expecting. But then again, it only cost about twenty pounds, which is about thirty dollars. So I wasn't expecting anything huge and sort of street lighty. So these clamps seem to go into little indents. And they're just basically uh, cut off extrusions with um, with a hole drilled uh, uh, and tapped, so it clamps. Let's see. All oh, right, glass comes off quite easily. It's not stuck in. It's not glued in. And there's the panel. Um, and 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 there's no earth. Oh, look, there's the earth. It's, uh, it's been cut off flush with the flex. That's good. Why do they do that? I mean, they could have put it onto a metal... Uh, they could have put it onto either of these holes in the back, or they could have put a small crimp on and just put it directly onto this. I'm not sure why they did that. But then a lot of the Chinese lights come with no earth connected. That's very odd. Both the wires going into the little power supply, which is, oh, it's glued in. It's, a, it's potted, and it's in a piece of aluminium extrusion. Um, what does it say in the back of this? LED driver. I actually can't read that. One hundred and eighty to two hundred and fifty-five volts. So it is actually just designed for two hundred and forty volt use. Output eight to twelve one watt lamps. So that's um yeah that's um it's just a current regulated driver. Now the <coughs> panel here, I can see um, heat sink compounds squishing up the side. It's held on by one, two, three, four, five, six screws, and it is an aluminium core PCB. And all the LEDs are just wired in series, as you'd expect. I see um, some silicone. It's wet silicone goop. Those must just be soldered on without being stuck if they've got silicon under them like that. The this, this silicon uh, heat sink uh, paste. Um, so those just pressed onto the sil into the heat sink compound and then soldered. I'm guessing that's possible. That's quite nice in a way because it means it would be easy to change them. I'm not sure how good that'll be in long-term heat sink, heat transfer capability though. Hmm. The casing itself is quite nice. Oh, look, it's got a silicon. Is this glue? No, it's not. It uh, comes out. Uh, it's got the nice grommet. Goodness knows how waterproof it would actually be. The, where the cable comes in is all squished round with, I thought that was um, hot melt, but it's silicon. Or at least it's, uh, it's certainly very gooey. Oh, and I've just pulled it and uh, broken the seal, but that's all right. Hmm, interesting. I'm guessing that on the basis that it would normally be pointing down like that. Oh, note the heat, fin heat sink fins in the back, which is quite good. I'd guess it'd normally be angled um, up the way, 
So any water is likely just to never really to find its way in the first place. Um, the bit that attaches onto a pipe here, it's got these screws designed to clamp it onto a pipe. There's um, a couple of ribs in here that would sit against the pipe. Let's measure that. Oh, it came with a tiny flex as it normally does, these sort of things. Um, The pipe it's designed to sit onto, that measures 45 millimetres. And I'm guessing it's going to be the same the other direction. No, it's about 43 millimetres the other direction. That's which is quite a strange size. When I first saw it, I thought I was kind of hoping that it was going to fit in standard two inch pipe, but um, that's kind of probably being too optimistic. So, um, <coughs> it's quite a neat light, it's bright, it's very serviceable, which is something I like. You could change that module in there. It can be earthed, that well, should have been earthed in the first place. Um, and technically speaking, you could change these LEDs, you could even make it a coloured floodlight if you wanted. Um, it's unusual to see this type um, versus the usual 10 watt um, LED floodlights in the style of the old uh, tungsten halogen floodlights. I have to say, this is quite stylish. I quite like this light. It's, it's very neat, and it seems to be quite good quality apart from um, apart from the earthing issue. So um, yeah, quite neat, and it came from banggood.com.